how can I share messages I've received on WhatsApp with others? I want to tell you about a quick and easy way to send a message you receive on WhatsApp to someone else. This is called forwarding. There are many ways this can be useful. For example, if you receive a message with helpful advice and want to share it, you don't have to type out the message again to send it to someone else. You can just forward it to them. You can also forward photos of products to customers so that they can see different options. Or you can forward a photo of a receipt to someone you work with or a household member. One way that I use forwarding is to share useful information that my SAG leader sends me through WhatsApp. I like to share this information with my sister so that she can benefit from it as well. Forwarding helps me do this. I'll show you how to do it. First, I take out my phone. I find the WhatsApp icon and press on it. Now, I have to find the message that I want to forward. When I open WhatsApp, I will see a list of all the conversations that I have had with people. I have to press on the name of the person who sent me the message that I want to forward and our conversation opens. I look through past messages by using one finger to move up or down until I find the message I want. Then I press down on the message I want to forward. Some buttons come up on the top of the screen. I press on the one that is an arrow pointing to the right. That's the button for forwarding a message. A list of my contacts names comes up. It's time to select who I want to send this message on to. I use one finger to move the list up and down till I come to my sister's name and press on it. Once I have pressed on her name, I press OK or the arrow. There, it's been forwarded. See, the message has a little arrow on the top along with the word forwarded. This lets everyone know that the message has not been created by me but was sent to me by someone else. If you receive a message that has this arrow on the top, you might not know who originally created the message. So make sure it is reliable before you believe or share it. If the information seems shocking, hard to believe or makes you feel worried, it may not be true. A message might look very official but even photos and videos can be changed to give wrong information. Before you believe what is said in a forwarded message, Check if the information is the same in other places you get your news or ask people you trust. Remember, learning anything new takes a bit of practice. So watch this video as many times as you need and try out the different steps. Thank you for watching and enjoy practicing.